Thank you, that's so good. Is Abe all right? Hey, come on, it's not the first time that's happened. Something is always going to go wrong. I think basically we've done a pretty good job so far tonight. Don't let, forget it, okay? It's happened before. We, this is a, a, a lovely place, and uh, let's put it out of our heads. It's not like some of the places we've played, which have been pretty grim. Oh, you wouldn't believe it. There's one place where we had to play, and uh, <laughs> it was unbelievable. It was, uh, it was like... It was located next to one of those, like, punk bars, you know, <laughs> with the big rainbow colors out front, you know, all the people. And, and you come inside, and everybody is just jammed in so that if you even had to go to the bathroom, you couldn't get up and get out of the place. And the lights are still sort of on the audience, you know what I mean? There's people with cameras running around. Like, like they don't even care about you. It's like a whole other project they're working on. The drinks are really expensive, and half the audience is complimentary, so you don't make a dime. <laughs> It's unbelievable. I, you know, the kind of dump I'm talking about. <laughs> Absolutely. We were, we were able to write a song about this. Uh, the, excuse me? I don't blame you for speaking out. A lot of times during a Rams game, I'll go out and talk to Pat Hayden. <laughs> I just say, hey, Pat, before you throw that pass, excuse me, I know Jim Marshall's coming at you, but I just want to ask you something. <laughs> to see you're here. Guess they dropped those child molesting charges, huh? So. <laughs> and they're so hard to make stick, etc. But you were lucky. This is three times now. <laughs> oh, dear. But the kids love it. <laughs> but we were able to write a little tune about that situation. And, uh, you know, sort of out of, out of tragedy comes, uh, comes well, whether you hear the song, could be even more tragedy. I don't know. It's uh, a... <laughs> There's one of those places where they keep saying, blues, play the blues, you know, and you have these girls with these big floppy chests with no bra, with Let's Boogie written on the t-shirt up there on the table, just popping lewds, you know, and, and you know, oh, gee whiz, you know, whatever. So we ended up doing a blues, and it's a blues dedicated to this specific dump, and uh, we'd like to share that dump with you right now. I hope you enjoy it. Here we go. Calm it out, Michael. Philadelphia to Spokane I've opened shows for Lawrence Wilk and Tiny Tim And I admit I hit my bourbon and cocaine When I find out that that concert's in a gym But I guess I'll keep on picking I'd be a fake But sometimes I feel like quitting And you've made that sometime now Lord knows I played some shitholes before But this makes the case There's more than meets the ear. Can't you tell that it's poetry, folks, that I'm saying? Have you noticed that there's a stone genius here? I know you're too intent on clapping.
he say shitholes? No. I didn't think so. But this one... Takes a big slice of Betty Crocker's cake. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, I gee, I wish I got one of those little cocktail napkins up here. I'm really... Oh, that's, that's a problem. Well, it's so hard to hold on to those glasses. A napkin, next set. Thank you. Oh, well, we're really working here. I, I should get to this before it gets uh, out of hand. Uh, I do have to make a public uh, service message. I hate to do this kind of thing. It's uh, boring to me. With the owner of license plate, you know, that kind of thing. I hate it. Uh, but uh, it's kind of important. I was up in the uh, dressing room earlier. We'll call it that for now. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't make fun of it. Actually, they went to a lot of trouble on our behalf. I appreciate that. Uh, I don't know how they knew we loved tar paper, but there it is. <laughs> Just fabulous. Anyway, I was up there in uh, the dressing room. There was a young, young fellow who's here tonight. I don't know where you're sitting, so I'm not going to point you out. But a uh, young fellow walked in the dressing room, and he said, Excuse me, Marty, do you have a minute? And I... And I said, a minute, let's make it an hour, because I'm that way. And uh, I guess we know that. And uh, I said, what's on your mind? I gave him the benefit of the doubt there. And uh, he said that uh, he said what he was going through, and he was trying to be polite. He said, I'm going through H.E. Hubble double hockey sticks tonight, Martin. He said, it's just the worst. And I said, now calm down, what's wrong? He said, he said he had lost his car keys and wallet somewhere here in the Roxy seating area. And I thought, oh my Lord, you know. And I said, well, what's the problem? He says, well, there's two problems. One and B. He said, one. He said, uh, he said, one. He said, you have sold out. And I thought to myself, again, my favorite way, I, I thought to myself, how can he know I've sold out? He hasn't heard the music yet. You know what I mean? But still, I took, I took him at face value and I said, okay. And I said, what's, why is that a problem? He said, it's very congested down there. He said, there's no way I could be a good Roxy citizen and still go around saying, excuse me, coming through, looking for wallet, looking for car key, excuse me. Could you? And I said, all right, you got a point there. And he said, that's number one. And he said, and B, he said, um, all of the lights are trained on you as God intended, which I like. It had a flavor to it kind of a use of the language, which I thought he's got his head in his good place and probably a pretty good man when he goes up. But, uh, so here's what we'd like to do. He, he does have a good point. Um, it is dark out there. It's, it's, it's impossible to see. And uh, it is kind of jammed in here. And I thank you all for being here to jam it in that way, but it's not helping this dude, you know what I mean? So I wouldn't ask to interrupt the show, but since we are coming to the last tune... <laughs> You've been very nice all night about clapping at the end of songs and not even at the beginning, which is really nice. A lot of people make that mistake at Dylan concerts. So he'll go, hey, Mr. T oh, they start clapping. Um, you know where to clap. It's at the end and you've been real good about it all night. Um, it takes a certain kind of brain to do that. And uh, I think at the end of this song, which will be the last two, and there's a, there's a good possibility. I don't want to be you know expectant or whatever, but uh, there's a chance you might clap, okay? While you're clapping at the end, would it be too much trouble to help this guy out? Let's face it, we are all brothers, really. And there's, there's no pain like losing your car keys and wallets. So while you're applauding at the end of this, the last number anyway, um, <laughs> would it be too much trouble to stand up and applaud? That would eliminate a lot of that congestion. And he'd be able to make his way through to see what he's looking for. Also, it is kind of dark out there. That only takes care of the congestion. Maybe while you're clapping, you could all light a match and hold it way up. Okay, so he gets a general idea. And you're gonna, you know what, you're gonna see some people saying, okay, I checked, who cares, you know? <laughs> kind of a really a lip service thing. Get on their case, okay? Just say, come on, more, more. And if they don't do it, start chanting it. Just more, 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 more. I, think, I, think, I know this guy, I know what he's looking for. 
and I think he's going to find it, okay? So, in the meantime, uh, we will be doing our last tune here. It's kind of a gospel number. I hope you enjoy it. You've been absolutely fabulous. I just hate to say goodnight. Just wish there was some way we could all see each other again real soon. <laughs> oh dear, I'm not parked that far away. Okay. You ever seen one of these before? It's electric. I think you'll be seeing a lot of those in the near future. I'm sorry, I digress. Here we go. Calm it down, Michael. Jesus, I'm allergic to the cross, and I don't want to be Moses and be concerned with what things cost. I don't want to be Buddha and have to sit with my legs crossed. I want to be God. That's what I want to be. Make me the Lord, because I'm so bored. Shake my life and ride. 